Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to work with a filter called Liquify, and we're going to be able to modify images with it. In this tutorial, we're going to use the uh, quick options that it already has, and uh, a little bit of them in the advanced mode, and I'm going to show you some uh, of what's going on. The advanced mode is new to CS6, and it's pretty cool because um, Liquify now has less of a lag time when you're working with the image, which is also new in CS6. They uh, basically made it a little bit nicer. A lot of times Liquify is used to make people skinnier or um, change the shape of an object or put some other effects on there. So we'll go over what's going on. So just load up an image and go to Filter and then um, liquify, which is right here. Now I can move, uh, change my brush size with my keys, the left bracket and the right bracket, or I can change it over here with my brush size. And then I have my pressure here that I can use as well. It determines how much is going to be affected. So both that's what both of these options do. So go ahead and click on this button here, advanced mode. And we've got a lot more options that are going on. Now, take a look over here to the left. We've got a bunch of different uh, modes that we can do. The first one is called Forward Warp. And it pushes the pixels that are in the brush by dragging. So I can move like parts of this in, and that's what Forward Warp does. Let me go back by undoing. So Control-Alt-Z to go back. The next one we have is called Reconstruct. And you drag inside the image, um, and it restores previously modified areas. So if I go like this and move this, and then I go back to here, I can change it back to what it was by clicking and dragging on there. So if you saw that, so I'll try it with the fish head here. So it's all distorted there. This is the Reconstruct. I click and drag back. I can bring this back to what it used to be. And there we go. Pretty cool, pretty close to what it used to be, which is nice. Okay. And the next one that we got is called Twirl Clockwise. Let me make this a little bigger. If I start doing this and just, let me go back. All right, if I just click and hold, it's going to start twirling this in the clockwise fashion, like that. All right, the next one we have is Pucker. And what Pucker does is you click and hold it to move the pixels toward the center. So if I come over here to the face and click, <laughs> that's funny looking, but that's what uh, Pucker does. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Go back. And, of course, the next one here is Below. And what that's going to do is move the pixels away. So that's how, what Bloat does there. So you can see how you can make some funny looking effects. Let's go to the next one here. This one is called Push Left. And you drag it to push the pixels to the left of the of the brush tip. Um, let's see what how that works. See, you can push them like that. So that's how that works. And then you're going to also want to when you're doing all these things, you're going to want to use these tools over here, or these tool options over here to mess with the different things. So let's go to the next one here. This is called Freeze Mask. And if I can draw on here, and then when I try to use another part of my mask, it's not going to be affected in that area. The next one below it is called um, the Thaw Mask. If I click on that, I can erase the part of the mask that I froze. And then we got the two below it. This is hand. This got, this would just move things around. And then we got zoom, which we can, are able to zoom in, zoom out of things if we wanted to. Hold down alt to zoom out. And uh, just plus zooms in. So if you can, you can click and drag to zoom into a specific area. Or you can just click once and it'll zoom in where, um, on the center of where you click to zoom in. So those are the things I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Um, we went over these buttons here. 
So this one on the top is called forward wrap. Reconstruct is next. And then tw twirl clockwise, pucker, blow. And you can see the hotkeys that are coming up as I see as they uh, pop up. B is for the blow tool. Um, we've got push left, freeze mask, thaw mask, and then hand and zoom. So I think that the one I use the least is probably uh, push left tool. Um, I also don't use the twirl clock, clockwise tool a lot, but I do use the forward warp tool, tool a lot. And if I make this really large here, I can start bringing in parts of this and it starts making people just like kind of look skinnier. But you have to be careful how much you use it to make sure you don't like screw up everything and how everything like looks. So I can hit OK and then it applies it to the image and you can see that there, the background there um, comes up as, as yellow. But when you're messing with this you're not going to want to pull that much and you're just going to only want to mess with it a little bit so it doesn't do anything like that. But that's the end of this tutorial. I uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos coming up soon. So have a good one everybody. See you later.